The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation Translated in red by Sam Gerrans Chapter 78 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful About what do they question one another? About the tremendous report? That about which they differ, ellipsis, is empty foolishness to continue. No, indeed, they will come to know. Then, no, indeed, they will come to know. Have we not made the earth a resting place, and the mountains stakes, and created you in pairs, and made your sleep repose, and made the night raiment, and made the day a living, and built above you seven strong ones, and made a blazing torch, and sent down from the rain clouds pouring water, that we might bring forth grain and plants, and densely growing gardens. The day of decision is an appointed time, the day the trumpet is blown and you come in crowds and the sky is opened and becomes gates and the hills are set in motion and become a mirage. Hell is lying in wait for those transgressing all bounds a journey's end. They will tarry therein long ages they will taste therein neither coolness nor drink, save a scalding liquid and an intense cold as meat reward. They expected not a reckoning, and they repudiated our proofs out of hand. But everything have we counted by decree. So taste, and we will increase you in nothing save punishment. For those of prudent fear is a place of safety, gardens and grapevines, and well-matched maidens with swelling breasts, and a cup overflowing. They hear therein neither vain speech nor lying, a reward from thy Lord, a bestowal, a reckoning, Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, the Almighty. They possess not from him power of speech. The day, the spirit, and the angels stand in ranks, they speak not, save he whom the Almighty grants leave, and he says what is right. That is the true day. So let him who wills take his Lord as a journey's end. We warn you of a near punishment. The day a man will look on what his hands have sent before him, and the one who spurns guidance while claiming virtue will say, Would that I were dust. Chapter 79 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By those who extract by drowning, by those ever active, by those ever swimming, and the foremost vanguard, and the arrangers of a matter. On the day of complete convulsion, there will follow it one close behind. That day hearts will throb, their eyes will be humble. They say, are we to be returned to the way by which we came, even when we are decayed bones? They say, that then would be a losing return. And there is but one cry, and then will they be awake. Has there come to thee the account of Musa, when his Lord called him in the twice hallowed valley, Go thou to Firaun? He has transgressed, so say thou, Wouldst thou purify thyself? and I will guide thee to thy Lord, so thou shalt fear. Then he showed him the greatest proof, but he rejected and opposed. 
Then turned he away in haste, and gathered and summoned, and said, I am your most high Lord. So God seized him in exemplary punishment of the latter and the former. In that is a lesson for him who fears. Are you harder in creation or the sky? He built it, he raised the ceiling thereof and fashioned it, and he made dark its night and brought forth its day, and after that he spread out the earth and brought forth therefrom its water and its pasture, and the mountains he set firmly as benefit for you and for your cattle. Then when the great disaster comes, the day man will take heed for what he strove, and hell will be exposed to him who sees. As for him who transgressed and chose the life of this world, hell will be his habitation. And as for him who feared the station of his Lord and restrained his soul from vain desire, the garden will be the habitation. They ask thee about the hour, when its arrival will be. What is any reminder thereof to thee? To thy Lord is the finality thereof. Thou but warnest him who fears it. The day they see it will be as though they had not tarried, save an evening or a morning thereof. Chapter 80 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. He frowned and turned away that the blind man came to him. And what can make thee know? He might have purified himself or taken heed, and the reminder benefited him. As for him who is rich, to him thou payest attention, but not upon thee is it that he purify himself not. And as for him who comes to thee in earnest and fears, from him thou art diverted. No, indeed, it is a reminder, so whoso wills might remember it, in honoured writings, exalted, purified, by the hands of scribes, noble, virtuous. Damned is man, how ungrateful is he! From what did he create him? From a drop of fluid he created him, and determined him, then made he the way easy for him. Then gave he him death, and buried him. Then, when he wills, he resurrects him. No, indeed. He does not accomplish what he commands him. So let man look at his food, how we pour water in showers, then split the earth asunder, and cause grain to grow therein, and grapes, and herbage, and olives, and date palms, and gardens dense with foliage, and fruits, and grass, as benefits for you and your cattle. Then when the Sakha comes, the day a man flees from his brother and his mother and his father and his wife and his children, every man of them that day will have an involvement to suffice him. Faces that day will glow, laughing, rejoicing at glad tidings. And faces that day, dust upon them, covered in dirt, these are the deniers, the licentious. Chapter 81 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. When the sun is wrapped up, and when the stars fall, and when the mountains are set in motion, and when the full-term she-camels are neglected, and when the wild beasts are gathered together, and when the seas boil over, and when the souls are coupled, and when the infant girl buried alive is asked for what transgression she was killed, 
And when the writings are spread, and when the sky is removed, and when hell is set ablaze, and when the garden is brought near, a soul will know what it brought. Then do I swear by those retreating, the ships withdrawing from view, and the night when it darkens, and the morning when it shines forth, it is the word of a noble messenger, possessor of power in the presence of the Lord of the throne, obeyed there, trustworthy. And your companion is not possessed, and he has seen him on the clear horizon, and he is not niggardly of the unseen. And this is not the word of an accursed shaitan. So whither are you going? It is only a remembrance for all mankind, for whom among you wills to be upright, and you will only that which God wills, the Lord of all mankind. Chapter 82 In the name of God, the Almighty, the merciful. When the sky cracks, and when the stars scatter, and when the seas are poured out, and when the graves are strewn, a soul will know what it sent ahead and left behind. O man, what has deceived thee concerning thy Lord, the noble, who created thee, then fashioned thee, then proportioned thee in balance in what form he willed assembling thee. No, indeed, the truth is, you repudiate the doctrine, and there are over you custodians, noble, recording. They know what you do. The virtuous are in bliss, and the licentious are in hell. They will burn therein on the day of judgment, and they will not be absent therefrom. And what will convey to thee what the day of judgment is? Then what will convey to thee what the day of judgment is? The day a soul will not possess any power over another soul, and the command that day belongs to God. Chapter 83 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Woe to the unfair traders, those who, when they take measure from men, take in full, but when they give them measure or give them weight, cause loss. Do these not consider that they will be raised to a tremendous day, the day men will stand before the Lord of all mankind? No, indeed. The law of the licentious is in Sidjin, and what will convey to thee what Sidjin is? A decree inscribed, Woe that day to the repudiators, those who repudiate the day of judgment. And there repudiates it only every false transgressor. When thou recitest to him our proofs, he says, The legends of former peoples. No, indeed, the truth is, what they earned has overcome their hearts. No, indeed, that day will they be veiled from their Lord, then will they burn in hell. Then will it be said, This is that which you repudiated. No, indeed, the law of the virtuous is in only yun, and what will convey to thee what only yun is? A decree inscribed, to which those brought near bear witness, the virtuous are in bliss, upon raised couches looking on. Thou wilt recognize in their faces the radiance of bliss. They are given to drink of an exquisite wine sealed, whose seal is musk 
and for that let the contenders contend, and its mixture of tasneem, a spring whence drink those brought near. Those who were evil doers laughed at those who heeded warning, and when they passed by them they winked at one another. And when they returned to their people, they returned in delight. And when they saw them, they said, These have gone astray. But they were not sent as custodians over them. This day it is those who heed warning who laugh at the atheists upon raised couches looking on. Will not the atheists be requited for what they did? Chapter 84 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful When the sky is rent asunder and hearkens to its Lord as it must and when the earth is spread out and casts out all that is in it and is empty and hearkens to its Lord as it must Ellipsis And they will meet their Lord To continue O man, thou art toiling towards thy Lord in labour, then wilt thou meet him. Then as for him who is given his decree in his right hand, he will be called to account with an easy reckoning, and he will return to his people well pleased. And as for him who is given his decree behind his back, he will call for destruction, and burn in an inferno. He was among his people well pleased. He supposed he would never diminish. Verily his Lord saw him. Then do I swear by the twilight glow, and the night and what it enshrouds, and by the moon when it is full, you will embark upon state after state. Then what ails them that they do not believe? And when the Qur'an is recited to them, do not submit. The truth is, those who are indifferent to warning reject. And God knows best what they hoard. So give thou them tidings of a painful punishment. Save those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness. They have a reward unfailing. Chapter 85 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the sky containing constellations, and the promised day, and the witness and the witnessed, damned are the companions of the trench of the fuel-fed fire when they sit above it, and are witnesses over what they do to the believers, and resent them only that they believe in God, the mighty, the praiseworthy, to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. And God is over all things witness. They who subject the believing men and the believing women to means of denial, then have repented not, they have the punishment of hell, and they have the punishment of the consuming fire. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they have gardens beneath which rivers flow. That is the great achievement. The power of thy Lord is great. He it is who originates and repeats, and he is the forgiving the loving, the owner of the glorious throne, doer of what he intends. Has there come to thee the account of the forces of Firaun and of Thamud? The truth is, those who are indifferent to warning are in denial, but God encompasses them from behind. The truth is, it is a glorious recitation on a protected tablet. Chapter 86 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the sky and the tariq, and what will convey to thee what the tariq is? The piercing star. 
There is no soul, but has a custodian over it. So let man see from what he is created. He is created from a spurting liquid, issuing forth from between the loins and the breastbones. He is able to return him. The day the secrets are examined, then will he have neither strength nor helper. By the sky full of returning, and the earth, Full of cracks, it is a decisive word, and it is not for amusement. They plan a plan, and I plan a plan. So grant thou time to those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Let thou them be a while. Chapter 87 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Glorify thou the name of thy Lord, the Most High, who created and fashioned, and who determined and guided, and who brought forth the pasture, then made it russet brown decay. We will make thee recite, and thou wilt not forget, save that God should will. He knows the manifest and the hidden, and we will ease thee towards ease. So remind thou, if the reminder benefit, he will take heed who fears, but the most miserable will avoid it, who will burn in the great fire, then will he neither die nor live therein. He is successful who purifies himself and remembers the name of his Lord and performs the duty. The truth is, you prefer the life of this world when the hereafter is better and more lasting. This is in the former writings, the writings of Ibrahim and Musa. Chapter 88 in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Has there come to thee the narrative of the enveloping faces that day, humble, toiling, weary, burned by scorching fire, given drink from a boiling spring? They have no food save of dhari, neither does it sustain nor does it satisfy hunger. Faces that day, joyous, pleased with their striving, in a high garden, they hear no vain speech therein, in it a flowing spring, in it couches raised and cups set and cushions arranged and carpets scattered. Will they then not look at the camels, how they are created? and at the sky, how it is raised, and at the mountains, how they are erected, and at the earth, how it is spread out. So remind thou, thou art but one reminding, thou art not an overseer over them, but whoso turns away and denies, God will punish him with the greater punishment. To us is their return, then upon us is their reckoning. Chapter 89 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the dawn and ten nights, and the even and the odd, and the night when he departs, is there not in that an oath for one of intelligence. Hast thou not considered how thy Lord dealt with Ad, Iram of the pillars, the like of which had not been created in the lands, and Thamud, who cut the rocks in the valley, and Firaun, lord of stakes, those who transgressed all bounds in the lands, and increased corruption therein, so thy Lord poured out upon them the scourge of punishment. Thy Lord is surely watching. And as for man, 
When his Lord tries him by honouring him and providing him with ease, he says, My Lord honours me. And when he tries him by straightening his provision, he says, My Lord humiliates me. No, indeed. The truth is, you honour not the fatherless and encourage not one another to feed the needy, but consume the inheritance completely and love wealth with immense love. No, indeed. When the earth is levelled completely and thy Lord comes with the angels rank upon rank and hell that day is brought, that day will man take heed. But how will the reminder be for him? He will say, Would that I had sent before me for my life. And that day none will punish as his punishment, and none will bind as his binding. O thou soul at ease, return thou to thy Lord, pleased, pleasing, and enter thou among my servants, and enter thou my garden. Chapter 90 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. I swear by this city, and thou art a free man of this city, and a begetter, and what he begot, we have created man into adversity. Thinks he that no one has power over him? He says, I have spent vast wealth, thinks he that no one sees him. Have we not made for him two eyes, and a tongue, and two lips, and guided him to the two highways? But he has not attempted the steep path, and what will convey to thee what the steep path is? Freeing a slave or feeding in a day of scarcity a fatherless relation, or one needy in destitution, then to be among those who heed warning and exhort one another to patience, and exhort one another to compassion. These are the companions of the right hand. But those who deny our proofs, these are the companions of the left hand. Fire will close in upon them. Chapter 91. In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the sun and its brightness, and to the moon when it follows it, and to the day when it reveals it, and the night when it covers it, and the sky and what built it, and the earth and what extended it, and a soul, and what fashioned it, and inspired it with its immorality and its prudent fear. He has succeeded who increased it in purity, and he has failed who buried it. Thamud rejected in its transgression, when its most miserable was sent out, the messenger of God to them said, The she-camel of God and her drink, then they rejected him, and brutally slaughtered her, and their Lord gave them over to destruction for their transgression. Then he levelled them, and fears not its final outcome. Chapter 92 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful By the night when it covers, and the day when it reveals, and what created the male and the female, your efforts are diverse. And as for him who gives and is in prudent fear and confirms good, we will ease him towards ease. And as for him who is miserly and rich and repudiates good, we will ease him towards hardship, and his wealth will not save him when he falls. Upon us is the guidance, and to us belong the latter and the former. So I warn you of a raging fire, in which burns only the most miserable, who rejected and turned away. And the most prudent in fear will avoid it, 
who gives his wealth that he might purify himself, and none has with him any grace to be rewarded, save seeking the countenance of his Lord, the Most High, and he will be satisfied. Chapter 93 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the morning light and the night when it grows dark, thy Lord has not forsaken and not loathed thee, and the latter is better for thee than the former. And thy Lord will give to thee, and thou wilt be satisfied. Did he not find thee fatherless and give shelter, and find thee astray and guide, and find thee in need and make sufficient? Then as for the fatherless, oppress thou not, and as for the one who asks, Repel thou not, and as for the grace of thy Lord, recount thou. Chapter 94 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Have we not expanded thy breast for thee, and laid down from thee thy burden, which weighed down thy back, and raised for thee thy remembrance, and with hardship ease? with hardship, ease. Then when thou art unoccupied, make thou ready, and towards thy Lord turn thou thy desire. Chapter 95 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the fig and the olive, by Mount Sinin, by this city secure, We have created man in the best form. Then send we him back to the lowest of the low, save those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness. They have a reward unfailing. And what will cause thee to repudiate thereafter the doctrine? Is then God not the wisest of judges? Chapter 96 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Recite thou in the name of thy Lord who created, created man from a clinging thing. Recite thou, and thy Lord is the most noble, who taught by the pen, taught man what he knew not. No, indeed. Man transgresses that he considers himself rich. To thy Lord is the return. Hast thou considered him who forbids a servant when he performs the duty? Hast thou considered if he is upon guidance or enjoins prudent fear? Hast thou considered if he rejects and turns away? Knows he not that God sees? No, indeed. If he cease not, we will take by the forelock, the lying, erring forelock. Then let him call his counsel. We will call those who thrust away. No, indeed. Obey thou not him, but submit thou, and draw thou near. Chapter 97 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. We sent it down on the night of the determination, and what will convey to thee what the night of the determination is? The night of the determination is better than a thousand moons. The angels and the Spirit descend therein by the leave of their Lord, of every sort of affair, Peace, it is until the emergence of dawn. Chapter 98 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Those who are indifferent to warning among the doctors of the law and the idolaters did not separate until the clear evidence came to them. A messenger from God reading purified writings in which are upright laws. 
and those in possession of the law were divided only after the clear evidence came to them, and they are commanded only to serve God, sincere to him in doctrine, inclining to truth, and to uphold the duty, and to give the purity, and that is the doctrine of the upright. Those who are indifferent to warning among the doctors of the law and the idolaters are in the fire of hell, they abiding eternally therein. These are the worst of creatures. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, these are the best of creatures. Their reward is with their Lord, gardens of perpetual abode beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein forever. God is pleased with them, and they are pleased with him. That is for him who fears his Lord. Chapter 99 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. When the earth is in complete convulsion, and the earth brings forth its burdens, and man says, What ails it? That day will it recount its tales, because thy Lord will instruct it. That day will men come out, separated, to be shown their deeds. Then whoso does the weight of an atom of good will see it, and whoso does the weight of an atom of evil will see it. Chapter 100 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the chargers snorting, and the strikers of sparks of fire, and the raiders at dawn, raising dust thereby, then breaching thereby the midst together, Man is ungrateful to his Lord, and he is to that witness, but in love of good is he strong. Does he then not know when what is in the graves is strewn, and what is in the breasts obtained, their Lord that day will be of them aware? Chapter 101 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. The calamity. What is the calamity? And what will convey to thee what the calamity is? The day mankind will be as moths dispersed, and the mountains will be as wool fluffed up. Then, as for him whose balance is heavy, he will be in a pleasant life. And as for him whose balance is light, His embrace will be an abyss, and what will convey to thee what it is? A scorching fire. Chapter 102 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. The competition for increase diverts you until you visit the graves, No, indeed, you will come to know. Then, no, indeed, you will come to know. No, indeed, if you had known with the knowledge of certainty, ellipsis, you would have put everything into the life to come, to continue. You will see hell. Then will you see it with the eye of certainty, Then, on that day, will you be asked about bliss. Chapter 103 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the span of time, man is in loss, save those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness and counsel one another to truth and counsel one another to patience. Chapter 104 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Woe to every slanderer, fault finder, who accumulates wealth and counts it, thinking that his wealth makes him immortal. No, indeed. He will be cast into the hotama, 
and what will convey to thee what the khutama is, the fire of God stoked, which will examine the hearts, closing in upon them in extended pillars. Chapter 105 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Hast thou not considered how thy Lord dealt with those weak in judgment? Did he not make their plan go astray, and he sent against them flights in successive waves, hurling upon them stones of brimstone? Then he made them like eaten straw. Chapter 106 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. For the accustomed security of Quraysh, their accustomed security is the journey of winter and summer. Then let them serve the Lord of this house, who feeds them against hunger and makes them safe against fear. Chapter 107 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Hast thou considered him who repudiates the doctrine, that it is he who repels the fatherless and encourages not the feeding of the needy? Then woe to the performers of duty, those who are heedless of their duty, those who make show and refuse small things. Chapter 108 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. We have given thee abundance, so perform thou the duty to thy Lord, and attain thou superlative mastery, thy adversary. He is the one cut off. Chapter 109 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Say thou, O you who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, I serve not what you serve, nor serve you what I serve. Neither serve I what you have served, nor serve you what I serve. You have your doctrine, and I have my doctrine. Chapter 110 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. When the help of God and the victory come, and thou seest mankind enter the doctrine of God in crowds, give thou glory with the praise of thy Lord, and seek thou forgiveness of him. He is receptive. Chapter 111 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Perish the hands of the Father of Flame, and perish he. What will his wealth avail him and what he earned? He will burn in a fire of flame and his wife a bearer of firewood, around her neck a rope of twisted strands. Chapter 112 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Say thou, he is God, one. God the Absolute has not begotten nor been begotten, nor is there equal to him any one. Chapter 113 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Say thou, I seek refuge in the Lord of the daybreak from the evil of what he created, and from the evil of darkness when it darkens, and from the evil of the blowers on knots, and from the evil of the envier when he envies. Chapter 114 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Say thou, I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind, the King of mankind, the God of mankind from the evil of the retreating whisperer who whispers in the hearts of mankind, from jinn and mankind.